What's up guys? A few months back I traveled for work and at some point toward the end of the trip I got to thinking, you know, it really wasn't this way sometime back in the past. And then I got to thinking of other ways which, you know, it, it wasn't that way when you traveled at a hotel. So I got to thinking like, you know, how have hotels changed over the past couple of decades? And when I'm saying that they've changed, I'm talking about from the way it was when I grew up back in the 90s to now, here in 2023. And, and I got a list here. So let's go through. Right now, put down in the comments how or what you've noticed the ways in which hotels have changed. And, and let's see how they compare to mine. Number one, the cost of parking. Now, I'm not talking about the cost in a downtown area. I'm talking about in the suburbs, right? I have seen as high as $55. This is if you're a guest at the hotel. They want you paying $55 a day. That's insane. I, I can understand maybe like $10, $15. Maybe they kind of built it into the price a little bit. They... You know, it's, it's kind of subsidized that way since you're there already paying for a room. Never mind that, right? I, I wish I would kind of build the cost of... You, you, that's what you would think, right? You would think that they would build the cost of one parking space per one hotel room into the cost of the hotel stay. I'm not necessarily saying in downtown areas where the, you know, the cost is so much more high. I understand that, but maybe in, in the suburbs, which is what, where I'm talking about, up to $55. And then a few years back, it was uh, about two, more, more than two and a half years ago, I was seeing like in the mid thirties, like 35, about $35 a day. Because right when I checked in, they were like, Oh, so uh, do you have a, a vehicle you're going to be parking here? I'm like, no, not yet. I, I'm glad I, I never actually got one. So in, in the end, I didn't actually need one, which, which worked out well. So on the last day, I, I, I rented one on my own. I never parked it there at the hotel, thankfully, right? Two. <clears throat> huh. I remember growing up as a kid back in the 90s, and room service was every day. Right, you, you would see, you would go there, you know, you, you would leave and go out and explore whatever city you're in, and then you would see the cart there with the maid service there in the hallway, and they would come by, and then maybe you would come back to your, your hotel room, they would be working at your hotel room, and then, you know, you wouldn't actually go in because you don't want to bother them and let them get their, their, get their work done, you would just go back down downstairs or go someplace else, just leave and come back later, right? That doesn't happen. I, I don't really even remember seeing maid service going on on my, my, my most recent trip, which about three months back here in early 2023. Room service now, they had like a little note in the hotel room. Room service is actually on the fourth day of your stay, right? So some people, they, they may never actually get, uh, they may never get a official room service I, I think this is for a couple of reasons, right? You know, obviously the first is the cost savings. Another would be labor. Maybe being post-pandemic, they never actually got full room service staff back. So the it's just, just not possible for them to come through and clean. At this hotel, it may have been... Maybe 120, 150 rooms total. Hard to say, just just a ballpark looking at it, right? Also, it could be environmental issues too, because if, if they're coming there, <clears throat> if they're going and taking towels and sheets and putting fresh on, and then they take it and wash it, I mean, people don't do that at their home, you know, every day come and put, get fresh sheets and towels and then go and, and wash them up. Could be an, an environmental issue there with that as well. So. Big change I noticed. And then third would be the the freebies. So you you I'm back in the 90s, right? Once again, back in back in my day, right? 
you would have these freebies like the, the plastic bag for your dirty laundry. You would have like a little notepad in the, in the nightstand. There would be maybe a, a free logo pen. They are complimentary if you needed to use that. All that's gone. Once again, probably about cost savings, right? So I, I didn't take a bag for dirty laundry, but I, I, um, when I was leaving on the last day, I was getting breakfast and I, I stopped by, I was like, yeah, so can I get a, uh, do you happen to have a dirty laundry bag? Thankfully they had one, right? But it's just, you know, there, there used to be the expectation that they had all this stuff in the room there for you to use at your convenience. So, you know, th those are just a few things that I noticed. So go and put down there in the comments, what have you noticed has changed about staying in hotels? All right, please like the video, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.